Hello everyone, and welcome to my tutorial on how to set up your Wii U to stream your gamepad to your PC. I used this the other day to include my gamepad screen on stream when I stream Splatoon 1. Okay, so the requirements. Uh, one, you need Java installed on your computer. And two, you need your Wii U hacked and set up with Tiramisu. Hacks Chi might work too and some of the older exploits, but you need something that supports the legacy Wii U plugin system. This is because the plugin has not been ported to Aroma yet, and so you need the old plugin system. I'm not going to go through the process of hacking the Wii U. It should be pretty simple. I'll leave all links in the description below. Alright, so after you've hacked your Wii U and installed Tiramisu, what you're going to want to install next is the Wii U plugin system. So first, you want to take the SD card out of your Wii U and plug it back into your computer. And you want to download a few things. Uh, you want the Wii U plugin system, so you go to the GBA temp thread, scroll down, and you want to click on download next to night lease. And then you click on assets on the latest release here and click Wii U plugin loader nightly, whatever, and download that. And uh, what you're also going to want to download is the streaming plugin itself. So this will also be in the description. Uh, you click on the releases, the latest release, screen streaming, uh, whatever this. So you want to download this zip as well. And you also want to download the streaming plugin client. So this is what's actually going to display the gamepad screen or the TV screen, although I wouldn't recommend that. Uh, on your PC so that you can window capture it in OBS. So the releases for this are kind of hard to find. I think what you do is you want to go into here, uh, the latest nightly, yes. So I, I'll actually link to this directly, but you want to go to assets and download this latest jar here. Okay, so after you've downloaded those files, you're going to want to gather them and you're going to want to open up the SD card for your Wii U. This is mine. And all you do is you open up the plugin loader and drag the Wii U folder over. It's going, I already have it installed, so it's going to ask to replace. And do the same thing for the streaming plugin. Just drag it over and replace the file and destination. I already have it installed, so it's going to prompt me like this. And so what you should have is basically Wii U plugins folder with your screen streaming.mod here. And in your apps, you should also have the Wii U plugin loader. So this is going to be the plugin loader that you load. Okay, so now you've copied those files to your Wii U's SD card. Now you want to put the SD card back in your Wii U and you want to turn it on. If you follow the tutorial and set up auto boot to Aroma, you're going to want to hold X on your gamepad as you're turning on your Wii U. So I'm going to turn on my Wii U now, holding X. And uh, wait a few moments for it to come live. Okay, so now I'm going to want to boot into Tiramisu, not Aroma. And uh, just to make things simpler, you, you want to select Homebrew Launcher. You could boot into the Wii U menu and open up Meme Maker to get back into Homebrew Launcher, but it's quicker just to do that. So give it a few moments. Okay, so now what you want to, want to do is select... Um, be close to the end. Uh, the Wii U plugin loader. And so you want to load that. Okay, so I have also a screenshot tool, but you're only going to have one line. It's going to be the gamepad streaming tool. What you want to do is toggle that on and then press plus to apply patches. And what it's going to now do is boot into the Wii U menu. Give it a few moments. All right. So now you should see the Wii U menu, and if I swap to the gamepad, it's going to look like that. Okay, so before we move on, what you're going to need to do is find your Wii U's IP address. And so the simplest way to do that is actually to go into the Wii U's browser. So first you want to do is you want to start up the Wii U's internet browser. And then once it's booted up, you want to click on settings in the top right corner, then scroll down, hit enable developer tools, and 
say OK to everything that prompts up, and you should see an IP address with colon something, something, something. All you need is everything before the colon for the next step. So the last step is to start up the streaming plugin client and connect to the Wii U. You could just double click on it, but, and it will prompt you to enter an IP address, but I prefer to use the terminal instead. This lets me more quickly restart the client if I need to. So all you have to do is java-jar and then the streaming plugin client and then dash dash IP and uh, 192. So that's the IP address of my Wii U. And there you go, there's the gamepad of my Wii U. So once you have the client up, you'll notice that the quality is quite low. So what you can do is you can hold L, down, and minus, and that will bring up the configuration menu. And so you want to press A on streaming plugin, and then you want to go down to streaming resolution. You can put it up to select from 240, 360, or 480. Um, so I'll demonstrate here what 360 is. And once you're done, you just press home. And you'll see the quality improves a little bit. If I go back into the plugin again, set it to 480, you'll see that the quality, it's not gonna look great, but it looks a lot better. Anyways, I hope that this tutorial was useful to you. And if there's any updates, say if this plugin gets ported to Aroma, I'll definitely update you. Um, maybe even make another tutorial about that one. See you later.